Couldn't at least clean up some of the blood on the floor. All right, horse, let's... Yeah, this food turns bad pretty quick, don't it? I don't control the dog. He does what he wants. You can just wait for him to sleep and steal them. Shot. I made 77 red deer venison. What? Where'd you go? Give me some food. Look what I've got for you. You'll love this. This is like one of the... Like one of the most interactive uh, games with the dog. I just love it. Stay on the path north until you find another interesting site. Once you go there, go directly west. Okay. Okay, so let's get out of town. Uh, it's not gonna move any clouds to go there, I doubt. Well, maybe. Yeah! Right, can I put my own marker? Right now, we'll put it there. Okay. Yeah. Henry doesn't look stupid. Have a torch out in the middle of the day. Okay, it's so a little bit further. Yeah. Over shoulder. Come on. Jesus Christ. Oh dear. That hurt. All that combat. Come on, get your bow, skill up. Oh, got no. right in the face. You hear? I surrender. Oh. That killed him outright. Continue combat. No, no, forget it. Now you die. Oh, yeah. You beast! <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ! He's come crawling out from under some rock. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> You saw him, he attacked me. 
don't think these guys have anything worth looting. Did the other guys die? Or they run off? Oh, there's a dude. Uh, dead dude right here. Maybe I'll wait for him to get a little bit further. I took four arrows. He's freaking he's insane. All right, I don't know where the other guy is. Helps my bow skill though when you kill these little weak people. As long as I'm not running into any humans. Okay, so you find the cat, stay on the path north. You find another interesting site. Go directly west from that interesting site. Interesting. Or interesting. Okay, so we'll leave the horse here. Directly west. Oh my god, watch this! Bane. The true enemy of the game. Some leg work getting up this hill. Maybe I can't get up. Nope. You got it. There you go. Far west? Going? Oh, go. Oh.
Don't. Thanks for the bunny. This is the place, though? Okay. I wonder if I can mark it. I wonder if it'll stay. And the DLC's endgame? Aw. Oh. Why there's a giant pile of manure here when there's nothing here? I know there's other people I can get, I can steal from, and, uh, get them from treasure maps. Okay, so hopefully that stays there. Easy markings for it. Okay, so let's take a look here at some of these quests. Actually, let's just try to open up some of the map, shall we? So I'm not sure I like where I'm at. So let's go back to Sasau. Try to open up what we got up here. Then we might have to go uh, see if we can court Teresa. But I would like to, I think once I'm done courting Teresa, I might want to uh, maybe do a woman's lot. Do that DLC. I think it should be. I think it's about as good as any time to do that one. Yeah. How many do? There's what are there? Four or five DLCs? I haven't done a single one yet. One of them is the tournament. So I haven't done the tournament yet. I don't I think I might have to get better. He lives in Ratai, but the dice get stolen by a guy named Adata. Once you get the DLC. Okay, let me go there. Okay. Yeah, so we have the tournaments one. Sir Hans with the way we're talking about with the dice. There's a women's lot. There's there's a band of brother or bro, something like that. Which is closer to end game. I'm missing one. Okay, so we open that up. There's a town over here, so let's go there. Always raining. Quite like the quest line with Johanka. Yeah. That is so sad. What does he want? can't catch him.
get your stuff. Yeah, the quest line is insane. You showed him. Thank you, that thieving magpie. You can't trust anyone these days. Apparently, in medieval times, everybody and looks like Ron just Howard. So you know, I'm no pinch or not Ron, by the Clint Howard. Here's a small reward. Thanks. I'm looting you. Unless you get the yeah, the good ending. From what I've read, the good ending that made it like extremely hard. So they made it extremely hard, so you couldn't really, uh, so it'd be more realistic. Because I tried to make it good. That's the one thing why I think this is one of my favorite games, because it's kind of an emotional roller coaster. Like, in the beginning, when Henry's parents die, it's, like, pretty sad. And then there's other quests like with the priests, <laughs> which is probably my favorite quest in any game ever. And then you have the one with Johanka. Can you repair? I'm honored that a knight such as you takes an interest in me. The Sasau swordsmith tells me he'd pay handsomely for a piece of the sword some pilgrim from the Holy Land was selling here a while ago. Well, my lad, I can't help you there. We're the back of beyond here. Not even a pilgrim ever stops by. But even if he did, what use would some relic be to me? And what would I pay him with? Makes sense. Uh, something wrong? What's the matter? It's the tourney. It always upsets me. Why should the attorney upset you? Why would the tourney upset you? It brings back sad memories about my son Svartabruk. God rest him. He always loved sword fighting. Even when he was just a lad, he used to duel with his mates with sticks. Yeah, he and does. For years, he saved he every brush like he got so he could buy a real weapon. It wasn't long before he had the hang of all sorts of fancy strikes and feints. So when he heard Sir Hanush was holding tourneys for common folk, he was first in line to enroll. Well, what happened? So what happened to him then? Well, this fellow by the name of Peter enrolled. They called him Black Peter on account of the color he wore. He beat all comers. No man could match him. Only Svartabruk was determined to take him, so he started training all the hours God gave. He even started going to Captain Bernard for lessons. And in the last tourney, he got the better of Black Peter in the end and won the prize. Only he never came home that day. I figured he was having a drink in Rattay to celebrate his victory. But he didn't even turn up in the morning and I started getting worried. I was just on my way to look for him when some merchants came by. They found my boy by the road just past Rattay. He was still alive, but he was burning up and shaking like a leaf. I sent for the sawbones right away. But before the day was out, I had to send for the priest. Is it Peter who killed your son? Do you think it was this black Peter who killed him? It was the first thing crossed my mind. Aye. But there's no proof. It could have been anyone, I suppose. What do you know about black Peter? Do you know anything about this black Peter? No, oh, not much. I asked around, but nobody knew nothing much about him. Except he was a stuck-up bastard. He always just turned up for the tourney, took his prize and vanished. Your son wounded? Did Svatopluk have any wounds? <laughs> Only a couple of scratches and bruises from the tawny. Nothing that would kill a man. Not even the sawbones could figure out what done him in. Wait, what? 
but I can steal all their weapons so they have no weapons when it comes to the tournament? Hmm. We'll take it. Look, I'll try and find out what happened to your boy. I can't promise anything, but if I turn anything up, I'll let you know. That's insane. Oh, thank you. I didn't know I that was a thing. You can do that. God, I won't let you go unrewarded. Good luck then. Let's play seven in. Oh, tavern! There's a tavern! There's a farkle, right? Right? Oh, it's right here. Nobody's playing. That's awesome. I can't... Nobody's playing. No far call right now. Okay, so we got some clouds over this way. So we're going to head back. Get a few more clouds and then... Uh, maybe we'll do the tourney quest. The DLC going. And they said that the second game, the map is going to be much bigger. This is insane size map. Yeah. If they're going to make it bigger, how many hours of gameplay is going to be? And just to let you all know, when uh, a second one comes out, playing that, 100%. And uh, we'll probably stop whatever I'm playing if I'm playing something. And uh, so I'll probably stop playing whatever I'm playing to play it. Because Hellblade 2 was my most anticipated game of the year until they announced this. The second one. So when the second one comes out... I'll be playing it, and then they'll, uh, what am I saying now? Um, I will do another playthrough when they come out with the DLCs. I've had hope, high hopes. I hope that, again, I'm super excited for the game. I hope they keep the same feel this game as this one. Trail up here.
Don't think anything's here, though. You got it! There you go. Current game is 16 kilometers. It's a good size. It feels like about right, though. Because it doesn't feel like it's way too massive. Because I got a lot of stuff in here. So it does make... Uh, it does make exploring worthwhile. The mod tools, sooner than a year after release, you can make a sequel to Minecraft. <laughs> yeah. So we can run up over here. There is a activity guy over here too. Oh, oh you're a Miller. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I think we got about everything. Yeah. This sounds so good. Thunder sounded so good. Is this? Hey, who's there? Who's there? Sounds like something I don't want to be part of. Or sounds like something I want to save. And then go attack him. Oh, I can't save because I'm in combat. Give it a shot. Yeah, six bandits is going to be insane. If I can pick some of them off. Gandhi. Anything worth money? Uh, your groschen. I guess that's worth money. Uh, we'll take your sword. Well, it's not much is worth money, is it? 